Hi everyone, my name is Foy Murek and I'm the developer advocate for Resinga. In our last video, we talked about what monitoring is and why it's important to you and your business. And today we want to talk about what Isinga is and what it can do for you. So in Isinga, we cover a lot of different areas that I would like to walk you through, starting with our first one, infrastructure. Let's start with infrastructure. So Isinga monitors any and everything that you want to have monitored in your existing infrastructure in your systems. And it does so by running plugins. Those plugins can be anything, but the most common ones would be a disk check, for example, to see how full your disk is, or a ping check to reach any servers you have. You can get those plugins on Xinga Exchange, for example, which is a platform where other users can upload their own custom check plugins and you can download pretty much anything for any vendor there is out there. And when those plugins have been run, Isinga takes those results and processes them. Modern businesses don't just work on premise anymore, and the cloud is a big part of our culture. And by the cloud, I don't mean a single cloud, but more a thousand different cloud service providers that don't necessarily work together. And in monitoring, the challenge is to not have a separate monitoring service to check for every single provider, but instead have one dashboard. And that is what Isinga can offer you. Speaking of the web interface, I would like to show you around a little. What you see in front of you is the dashboard of our Isinga demo system. And this dashboard might look different than the one that you see in your environment, because it's fully customizable. The important part that we have here are our service problems, where you can see anything that is wrong at a glance. And we also added some information about our locations and some business processes that we defined. And if you want to jump from this overview into a more detailed space, you can click on any of those names because they will lead you to a new tab with a deep dive into the details around this service. We can see the plugin output, we can see when the last check was performed and when the next one is going to happen, some more performance data about what is going on, and most importantly, we also have different actions that we can perform. In this case, our disk is full, we want to swap it out and to have it in a more relaxed state, we can set a downtime for this disk service. In this comment, we can add some information for our colleagues. We'll change disk now. We're going to schedule the downtime and we can see we have 59 minutes left to change our disk now. Another interesting view to add to your dashboard might be the tactical overview, where you have those nice donut graphs which help you see the health of your system. If you're more into configuration, you can go and look at the activity log, for example, where any kind of change in the configuration you have made is listed and can be looked at in detail on click. This is just a fraction of all of the possibilities you have in a single web and you can extend it at any point with different modules to your liking. When it comes to notifications, you have a lot of different freedoms and things you can decide. For example, what you want to be notified on, when you want to be notified, and also when you don't want to receive notifications, how you receive those notifications, be it via mail, telegram, SMS, or if you want to receive a call from the system. And you can also decide for yourself who gets alarmed via groups, or if you want only certain individuals to be alarmed, or certain contacts that you put in the system. In order to minimize human error, we want to automate as much as possible. And for your infrastructure that is pretty much constantly changing, 
there are certain ways to automate your configuration. For example, our DSL, our domain-specific language. With that, you can use certain rule sets to automatically react to any changes in your systems. We also offer integrations for databases and cloud providers, so any changes that occur there are automatically applied to your configuration.